I will now build a billet model in Comsol Multiphysics. It is a 3D model. I need to specify what physics to solve for. Under heat transfer, electromagnetic heating, I find the induction heating interface. I'm going to solve it as a frequency stationary study, meaning that I solve for the magnetic fields in the frequency domain and for heat transfer as a stationary problem. I will now specify the geometry. I have a range of options to specify the geometry. I can import a CAD file. I can use one of the live link interfaces for CAD. I can use primitives or work planes. I will take a shortcut and I will insert the ready-made geometry sequence from a file. The geometry sequence consists of primitives and a Boolean operation. Let's build it. And let's look inside. We see a surrounding air domain, we see the billet and we see the coil. I will now assign materials to the geometry. I do that by right-clicking the materials node and I open the material browser. Under built-in I find air that I add to the model. As the first material it will by default be assigned to all domains. Uh, I will change that later by adding another material in the billet domains. For now I just want to add a small electrical conductivity of 1 Siemens per meter. Uh, this is for numerical stability reasons. Next I scroll down in the material browser until I find iron and I add that to the model and I assign iron to the billet domains. I just need to change one thing in the iron. Uh, the relative permeability is high but the billet is preheated to 1000 degrees Celsius so it's well above the Curie temperature so I changed the relative permeability to unity and I can check the air material is now overridden in the domains of the billet. It is time to set up the details of the physics. By looking under the induction heating node I find the induction heating model. That is the main equation model for the uh, induction heating interface. It has both the frequency domain magnetic fields equation for the magnetic vector potential and the stationary heat equation. Now I don't want to solve the heat equation in the air and the coil, I just want to solve it in the billet. So by right clicking and selecting magnetic fields and Pear's law, I add another equation model with only the electromagnetic equation and I'll assign that to the coil and to the air block. Going back to the induction heating model, I see now that it's overridden, so it's only valid in the billet. Now the billet is moving upwards, so I will add translational motion as a sub-feature to the induction heating model and I just need to specify the velocity in the upwards direction to one decimeter per second. I will now add current density to the coil domain. I do that by selecting magnetic fields, external current density. I'll assign that to the coil part of the geometry. I will use coordinate expressions to enter a current density of 50 megaamps in the azimuthal direction. Like that. Next, I will need boundary conditions and I add some uh, boundary conditions for the billet. On the sides of the billet we have convective losses through convective cooling. So I just need to pick the appropriate boundaries here by left clicking to select the boundary and right clicking by st to store the selection. Okay, that's it. And I need to specify a heat transfer coefficient corresponding to free convection. 5 is a good number. Uh, I will add also other boundary conditions on these boundaries, so I'll save the selection to, to save some clicking. 
Next boundary condition is radiation loss. So surface to ambient radiation. And now I can just refer to the previously stored selection. And I need to specify the surface emissivity. Make that user defined. Zero means a, a non-emissive boundary, perfectly reflecting boundary. And unity is a black body. So I'll put it in between to 0 0.5. Uh, both the convective cooling and surface to ambient radiation has an ambient temperature setting, which by default is room temperature, so I leave it at that. I also need boundary conditions at the upper and lower ends of the billet. Uh, we have a temperature condition because the billet is preheated to 1000 Celsius. So that's the temperature it enters the domain with. So we'll make that 1000 degrees Celsius and on the upper end heat is flowing out with uh, well given by the heat content of the billet and the speed of the billet so I just specify a simple outflow condition I am done with the physics and I will proceed to create a mesh I right click the mesh node and select free tetrahedral. I set the general size to the predefined coarser mesh. In certain domains I want to have a finer mesh, so I add another size feature and set it to the domain level. I'll start with the upper part of the billet and I will make the maximum element size there 4 centimeters. I will reuse this for the central part of the billet. But there I want to use an even finer mesh size, 2 cm. Let's build a mesh. And by suppressing boundaries, we can look inside. And this is the mesh I wanted. I'm now almost ready to solve the model. I just need to specify the frequency to solve for. The default is 1 kilohertz, but I rather want 50 hertz. Now I just need to right click the study node and select compute and wait for the solution. Once the model has solved, we get a default temperature plot. I will maximize that in order to better see what's going on. So now we can see the billet, it enters the domain with the initial temperature of 1000 Celsius. It gets heated up by the coil and then the temperature is conducted towards the center and lost also to the exterior through convection and radiation. So the surface temperature drops towards the exit.